Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 73 of Lightroom Quick Tips. You know, one thing you could do to really enhance a portrait is to make sure your subject's eyes are nice and bright. Now, you'd prefer to do that right when you're taking the shot. So if you're outside, maybe use a reflector to try to get some light onto your subject's face and on their eyes, or maybe use a, some fill flash to get some light in their eyes. But you might even do that or maybe you just can't do that and you'll get into post-production and you'll see that their eyes look a little drab. Well, I'm going to show you in this episode of Lightroom Quick Tips how you could just brighten the eyes very easily and it really does enhance the portrait and will make the entire photo shoot look much better when the uh, person's eyes are just a little bit brighter. Now, I have this uh, image here that I got off Adobe Stock and it's a great, great photograph, but her eyes are a little dark and we could just brighten them up a little bit and you'll see how much it enhances the image and all you need to do is get the radial filter now there's all different ways you could do this actually but we're going to use the radial filter and what you could do is just draw the little oval an eye shaped oval over your subject's eyes and then if you come off off the oval a little bit and you'll see that you could tilt it so you could kind of tilt it to match how the eye is shaped. Now, simply, all you want to do is turn up exposure. And one thing I should mention before I do that, you'll notice when I'm on the picture, we'll, we see this kind of mask outline here, what we're actually affecting. If you could make this, I guess, behave in uh, different ways. And what you do is you go down here to this toolbar. If you're not seeing the toolbar, hit the T key on your keyboard. It will turn that toolbar on and off. And you could show I have edit pins on auto. And what that means is when I'm over the image, you see them. When I come off the image, they go away. I like it that way. You could have them so that they're always on. And I don't like it that way because they kind of get in my way or always off or when it's selected, things like that. I prefer it to have, as I mentioned, auto. Um, now, a lot, a lot of times people email me because they, they're missing this these pins and they're just gone. So you could just do that here. Or if you hit the H key on your keyboard, you'll toggle those on and off. So remember that. So that's just a little side quick tip. All right. We want to brighten her eyes. Simply, you turn exposure up, but when you turn exposure up, you see you're brightening the entire image and we're leaving her eye dark. So what you have to do is go down here at the bottom and click Invert Mask. Now we brightened her eye. Now, of course, that is way too much. So we're going to turn that down. And, and like I said, this is a really a subtle adjustment. You don't want to go too crazy with it. And this is where I, I guess I tend to do it a little bit too much, but hopefully you're not like me and you don't overdo it so let's say that this is good enough we did the left eye to bring it over to well her right eye to bring it over to her left eye the easiest way to do it is just hover over what you just did and right click with your mouse and click on duplicate now it duplicated what we did now you go up over it for the little hand to show and we could drag that duplicate over to her other eye and again we could tilt it and move it around so it's on her eye properly. And when I come off, you could see that her eyes are nice and bright. Now I'm going to turn it off. There's before and there's after. Before, after. Now, if in your specific image, one of her eyes are naturally lit more than the other eye, just by the way the sun is, or maybe your model's hair is kind of putting shade on one of the eye, you could do this with two separate individual radial filters as opposed to me duplicating the same filter. So it's really up to you how you want to do it. So that's it. That's it for this episode of Lightroom Quick Tips. I hope that helps enhance your portraits. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.